Welcome. So, you need to do some printmaking and you need to do this in your house just with whatever materials you have at hand. This video is to try and go through, first of all, the design process so that you've got something really suitable for your printmaking. Okay, your first idea is to come up with something that's important to you. Now, around the house, food, that's fairly important to everybody, so I started with that and just came up with different ideas. I'm an artist. So my first idea was to do a cake with a paintbrush and all the paint and things spilling all over the cake. Okay, that's a special cake just for an artist. My second idea was a bowl of spaghetti and when I thought about it, I realised spaghetti has become a real cultural thing in Australia. We've adopted it as our own. So I did the spaghetti all twisted round into a Celtic type of design so that it symbolised that cultural connection. My third design went from that one and I put it around a table so it had more connotations of parties. So it's a whole heap of different people around a table. The table is a mix of swirls and things to show that connection and movement that goes on with the party and the excitement that goes with it. Okay, so that's my three original designs. The next stage is to specifically change your designs for whichever printmaking technique you're going to do. Now I'm going to show you block printing and etching today. The first one is taking this design and changing it into a print for block printing. That's the one that I've come up with. Now just to give you a quick demonstration of what you need to be careful of, printmaking is going to be on a piece of foam and you cut using Stanley knife whatever shapes you want you leave away so that whatever you leave off is what's printed. Now I've cut a couple of pieces in there you have to cut, then you have to dig out the pieces that you don't want printed so that's still going to be the colour of your paper. You need a roller with lots of paint. You roll it on. It's always fairly messy, so make sure you're dressed in old clothes when you're doing printing. Put it on your paper. Press, pack it up, whatever's left up is what's printed. Okay, so as you know, when you're doing this sort of stuff, you need a design that you can actually cut out with a Stanley knife. You need a design that will be fairly simple and um, easy to cut and without too many intricate curves and things to go with it. That's why this design, the spaghetti bowl, has been changed into something with very straight lines and overlaps. The cake design, you can see, is much chunkier and much more simple. It has big outlines and things, so those things can be cut out. What you would do is cut out all this background and all the white, so what's left up is the black, and that's what you're going to print. I changed this one so that the design has the same elements. All you need to do is Put that onto a little block, the circle, plus the little two little lines, and you could repeat print each of those elements and make up the whole print using that. Okay, so that's printing for blocks, with blocks. The next method of printing is etching. Now for etching, we use plastic. Shiny plastic is the best. The shinier the better. This is just an old folder and it works really quite well. I cut a small piece just so I can demonstrate again what sort of process it goes. I'm using a set square with a very sharp pointy end. The sharper the better. A nail works, a skewer works, there's lots of things, but the sharper the better. You just simply scratch into the plastic to you get your design. The shinier the side that you do it on is also a better way to work. So, and if you want shading, you have to do long thin lines and cross hatching. Okay, we'll have a look what that looks like. Again, use your paint. You've got to rub it on. Now, I just do it with my finger because that's the easiest way to go. You make a whole surface over the top, cover it, 
Because you're using your finger, you can press it into those little slits that you've made with your scratcher. You then need a piece of old paper or something, some sort of sponge or something to wipe it off with. And you'll wipe it so that all that's left is the pieces, the paint that's actually inside the scratches. So you get all that background out. You'll see really clearly if you haven't dug it long far enough. Then you need to get some damp paper, not sopping yet, but damp enough so that you can definitely feel the moisture. You press it on, rub it with a bit of pressure, and the image transfers. Okay, so you'll have an image like that. As you can see with etching, it does really fine lines. So your designs, this one that I started with, has to be changed so that it has really fine line. And anywhere that you have any tone needs to be cross-hatched or lots and lots of little lines and texture. Okay, the cake, again, I think it improves with an etching. You do lots more detail with etching and you add lots of fine line and lots of textural detail. I changed my table setting design again. So I added little bits and pieces because you don't, um, you can repeat these things a little bit better with the etching. And the shadows are made just with repeated lines. Okay. So that's the difference in the designs when you go from one type of printing to the next. The only other thing that you need to know is that if you're doing lettering, you have to do it in reverse. You know, so when you put this down to print, you get the mirror image. I show you with this design. So this one, I changed my first one into a design that has lettering. If you look at it, it's got art. I'm actually going to print this and put it on a t-shirt. So when you do that and print this way, it'll be back to front. So what you have to do is transfer it in reverse. One way to do it is to put it up against a window and you can see quite clearly the image and just simply trace on the back and you'll see what you have to put onto your block or onto your um, plastic. And another way to do it is to go over your image itself, the original image, just with a really dark, soft pencil, like this. I've been over the rest. Then, when you get your block, put it on, you simply put this down onto your block and rub with something fairly solid, your fingernail if it's good enough, um, a back of a spoon, anything at all, and scratch it along so that the very soft lead that you've used, charcoal pencils are great if you've got those, will transfer onto your block. And you'll know exactly where to cut. I won't do any further, but you can see that's working quite well. Okay, so good luck with the designing. Think of your idea, think of some meaning that goes with it, and work your drawings to suit those, and then change them into whichever method of printmaking you're going to do. The next videos will be how to do your block printing and your etching properly. Then after that we'll go into some screen printing and lithography, all that you can do in the kitchen or in your laundry or wherever you are at home. Okay, thank you.